The only thing that we can really know is the present moment. The one that we find ourselves in at this very second. The moment that we are sharing right now as you listen to my words through this screen and as I speak to you through my camera. It is only this moment in time that we can know for sure. My name is Pau, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm so happy to have you here. Today's video is inspired by having good conversation with special individuals. Recently, I moved to Los Angeles where I am living with a dear friend of mine and something that I love so much about getting to share space with someone else is the daily happenings that we get to share with one another and the daily reflections and questions that we get to ask one another. And after all, what I'm after in this life is genuine connection and self-expression. I want to realize my potential in more ways than one and I want to find a way to express that in the world in a way that betters the lives of others. And I can see how simple it is to touch others and to be touched by others if we are just willing and wanting to open ourselves up in that way. And that is what my roommate and I have been doing here in LA since moving in. And I'm so grateful to be in a space and a place in my life right now where I feel safe to feel seen as we all deserve to feel. So today's video is inspired by that laid back casual conversation that one may have at the kitchen table or the living room sofa. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the story of a Chinese farmer. I don't know if you've heard of it or not. I first heard of it when I was reading about it in a book that I have forgotten. But for the sake of this video, I have done some digging online so that I could find the same story that I read so that I can read it to you. So. Let's get into it, shall we? This is the story of a Chinese farmer. A farmer and his son had a beloved horse who helped the family earn a living. One day, the horse ran away and their neighbors exclaimed, Your horse ran away? What terrible luck! The farmer replied, Maybe so, maybe not. A few days later, the horse returned home this time leading a few horses back to the farm as well. The neighbor shouted out, your horse has returned and brought several horses home with him. What great luck. The farmer replied, maybe so, maybe not. Later that week, the farmer's son was trying to break one of the horses and she threw him to the ground, breaking his leg. The neighbors cried, your son broke his leg. What terrible luck. The farmer replied, maybe so, maybe not. A few weeks later, soldiers from the National Army marched through town, recruiting all boys for the army. They did not take the farmer's son because he had a broken leg. The neighbors shouted, your boy is spared. What tremendous luck. To which the farmer replied, maybe so, maybe not. We'll see. So, this story just goes to tell that it is really quite impossible to tell whether anything that happens is good or bad. And when I first read this story, I was really self-reflective about it because I've lived so much of my life trying to make best decision and really thoroughly thinking about my next move or how to respond to a certain situation in hopes that whatever I chose would be the right thing or the good thing. And I think this story just really goes to show that 
there is no way to know where our life will lead us. There is no way to know if something that happens in our lives will bring us goodness or pain or something in between. Sometimes the pain can lead to the joy and sometimes the joy can lead to the pain. So I wanted to share this story with you guys today because recently in my own life, I had been reflecting a lot about what the next step is in my life, what it looks like, how I can get there and where to begin. And upon asking myself that question, I pondered a lot about my different options, I weighed them out, pros and cons list. You know, I tried to make a decision based on what I knew. But I've come to realize and know that there is always so much more than what the eye can see. And I think that every moment of our lives is leading us in the right direction. And when I say the right direction, I don't mean that we will constantly make the greatest choice. What I mean is that wherever we find ourselves is perfect. Whatever we are experiencing is perfect because in the places that we go, in the people that we meet, in the experiences that we have, we are shape-shifting and moving through the course of our lives. And there's no way to know whether or not a choice is right, whether or not something that has happened is good or bad. And we also have no control over what happens in our lives, but we always have the choice to choose how we respond. You know, there have been plenty of times in my own life where I've made a decision that maybe I thought would bring me to the highest good, the best possible outcome. And as time went on, I found that the choice that I had made would not in fact bring me to the outcome that I was favoring in my mind. And so I think that this story, I think that this conversation that I'm having with you in this moment just goes to say that we can only ever do our best and sometimes our best will not equate to the outcome that would be ideal in our mind's eye. But that's only because the universe is orchestrating a divine course of events, of timing, of what we like to call luck. But more and more, I am affirmed in that there is something greater at work. There is something bigger than me that can see beyond what I know, what I think I know. And so if you find yourself in the in-between, know that that's okay and know that whatever choice that you choose is meant for you. And that with free will comes the option to choose. But I also believe that many things in this life are fated, destined, one might say. Less and less do I believe in coincidences because as I've paid attention more and more, I realize that the things that come into my life, the connections that I make, the reflections that I have, the way I perceive things, the things that I hear, the things that I resonate with, 
are all aligning me with something that I may not always be able to understand. But isn't that the point? Isn't that why we're here? I've spent a lot of my life getting really caught up in the questions that I don't know, in the answers that I want to find, in the, des in the seeking out of destinations that I believe will complete me. But we are never truly complete. We are beautiful masterpieces in the making. And it would be wise of us all to begin to believe in ourselves. <sighs> Enough to know that wherever we go, wherever we end up, whatever the next right step may be, might not be all that we had hoped it to be. But in that there is beauty. In that there is power to say yes to life and see how life says yes to us when we do just that. Thank you guys for listening. I really enjoyed this little casual sit down video with you guys. Thanks for holding space for me. I'll see you next week.